This is a compost bin in my basement. My housemate keeps this bin despite my protests. I oppose aerobic composting of food scraps because doing so forces huge numbers of animals to be born without their consent into short lives that end with painful deaths. Instead of composting, I recommend throwing out food scraps in sealed plastic containers or using a sink garbage disposal unit or try to reduce the number of food scraps you generate in the first place. This video shows invertebrates in and around this compost bin on 2 January 2017 in the warm basement of my house near Albany, New York, USA. Ordinarily this bin is full of earthworms, but I saw few earthworms today. In fact, I was saddened to see that at the rear of the bin, several earthworms had fallen out of the bin and dried up, as you can see here. Maybe they were trying to escape the conditions of the bin. This example illustrates the inevitable violence that accompanies keeping a worm bin, despite one's best efforts to maintain good conditions. The bin was dominated by springtails and mites. While springtails and mites ordinarily dominate decaying organic matter because they're so small, this bin had many more springtails and mites than I normally see in it. I suspect the reason might have been that this bin was extremely damp. The bin was damp even though it hadn't been watered in many weeks because it contained lots of fruits and vegetables, and in the winter evaporation is very slow, so the water in those fruits and vegetables remained in place. The bin also contained a few beetles, which are several times longer than mites and springtails. And it had a few flies on the surface that looked like fruit flies. I don't have footage of the flies because they moved too quickly. The bin has small holes in its bottom to let water drain out so that the bottom won't fill up with water and drown bugs. I tilt the plastic bottom that this water drains into so that the water collects in one spot, thereby reducing the tendency for bugs falling off the side of the bin to drown in the water moat around the edges. Drowning bugs around the edges was a problem I had this summer. You can see that springtails and mites cluster around the pools of dark brown water that drains out of the bin. And this paper towel is covered with mites. The compost bin was packed densely with bugs. Here you can see a transparent ruler giving a sense of scale. I measured the bin's dimensions. Its length was roughly 21 inches or 53 centimeters. Its width was roughly 15 inches or 38 centimeters. That implies that the area of the surface is 53 times 38 equals roughly 2,000 square centimeters. I would guess that the number of invertebrates per square centimeter was on the order of 10. In some places, such as the region of the bin shown here, the number per square centimeter was probably much greater than 10, but in other cases the number was close to zero. When the microscope camera is pressed directly against a surface, the area it covers is about 48 square millimeters because the width is about 8 millimeters and the height is a little less than 6 millimeters. So a single screen of the microscope camera pressed directly against the surface is about half a centimeter squared. However, when the camera is not directly against a surface and is pointing at something farther away, the area covered is somewhat greater than that. So for example, I would guess that the area covered by the camera's screen in this shot is maybe on the order of 1 square centimeter. So then if we have a surface of about 2,000 square centimeters and about 10 invertebrates per square centimeter, that implies about 20,000 invertebrates on the top surface of the bin. The full bin had a depth of roughly 12 inches or 30 centimeters. However, bugs were less dense in the lower depths of the bin, perhaps because there was less food and or less air down there. 
So let's assume that the density of bugs seen at the surface only extended a few centimeters down. Maybe that would imply like 5 or 10 or 20 or maybe more layers of bugs. Let's say it's 10 layers of bugs. Then the total number of bugs in the top of this container would be roughly 20,000 per surface area times 10 surface areas equals 200,000 bugs total. That's obviously a very rough estimate, and the true number could easily be an order of magnitude less or more than that. This number of invertebrates is created just by the compost from my housemate. I myself don't generate many food scraps, and those that I do generate, I put in sealed plastic containers, where decomposition is done by fungi and bacteria rather than bugs. The rest of this video shows further footage of the compost bin without narration.